This is me, before the accident. The old me was content, virtuous, believed in everything. And here's me after I was barbecued in jet fuel. Lamb Mannerheim has been a member of our church family since she was knee-high to a bug. Our lamb survived a tragic accident. If you get stage fright, just imagine Pastor Rick in his pajamas. Good morning, everyone. Did you know that they can take skin from your rear end and put it on your back? Looks like thong underwear is out of the question for me now, right? In our next presidential election, I may vote Democrat. Oh, no. I've got a heart full of rage and an L.L. Bean tote bag full of cash. Hello, Las Vegas. I know. I want as much liquor as possible. That's very smart. Very smart. Oh, I've never seen that happen before. You're using your nose like a little funnel. Let me guess. You came here to be the showgirl. Excuse me? I just want to experience worldly pleasures for the first time. You think specific in mind? You basic abomination. What's going on with you, lady? So where are we going? Ready? We're going to do something? Oh, yeah. You got any scissors back there? Short. Oh, you look totally butch. You want to do that, huh? This is fun. <laughs> oh, that you whore. Bravo. The world is not just the Vegas Strip. I'm figuring that out. this whole world is broken. I say it's paradise. I went into a bathroom with a hooker and... Seriously? Bloody hell, let me sit down for this. And the award for best original screenplay goes to... Keith Michaels for Paradise Miss Place. It's tragic how much I'm enjoying it. Do you think you could find me just one job, you know, just any job? There is something. I teach a screenwriting class at Binghamton University. I hate teachers, uh, frustrated losers who haven't done anything with their own lives. So Keith? Where exactly is Binghamton? Sir, is this your bag? Yeah. You wrote Paradise Miss Place? You wrote that? I love wow. that one. Wow. Wow. wow, look at this. I could have brought a bomb on board and no one would have minded. Don't say that, that's not good. Here's your new home away from home. That's the 30-page screenplay by all the students who want to take your course. About 70 of them. Happy reading. I intend to do as little as possible while carrying on with this charade. Hello, Snow. Rosa. Maya. Good-looking guy, Dave. It's your own screenwriting class. Oh, I've got to tell you, I love Paradise Miss Place. I still watch it with my girls. Oh, your girls? Are you a lesbian? Uh, oh, I wish. <laughs> you arrived on campus and inebriated. Oh. You dismissed your class for a month. You insulted members of faculty. Oh. You don't like Jane Austen? Oh, I'm just a little bit tired of female empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the time has come for me to write that sequel to Paradise Misplaced. The studio said they're looking for a new voice. My boy. You will be rewritten, discarded, fired. Perhaps it's better not to even try. Do or do not, there is no try. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Why did you write Paradise Misplaced? I used to tell my son stories at night. You have a son? We haven't actually spoken in over a year. Call your son. Wish I shared your faith that everything will work out. It's very American, like country music or, I don't know, obesity. When it comes to writing, there are no rules. Be true to the story you're telling. Make it your own unique voice. As you're alive, you can forgive and be forgiven. That's from Paradise Was Place, my favorite movie. Top five. Definitely top ten. I'm very worried about your taste. Yeah. Top 20. How was work? Work was the uh, same as every other day. Ten and a half. Got some big feet there, kid. I'm big boned. Thank you.
Yo, shoe man. Come on, let's go, man. Time is money. I need these fixed, shoe man. And I need them tonight. Close at six. Close when I get my shoes. Just playing with you, shoe man. See you at six. Are you kidding me? Friend wanted me to drop these off. Yeah, you are. Thank you. You there? Yeah. Come here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shop's closed half the time. Acting all crazy. I know where this is going. I've seen it before. You have not seen this before. Trust me. Hi. Can I help you? We're trying to stop real estate developers from forcing the regular people out. If you don't walk out of here right now, I am going to burn this whole place to the ground. We need people like you to get involved, Max. How did you hear all of this? Look, I have a special ability to see stuff I shouldn't. What the? Hey. privilege to walk in another man's shoes but it's also a responsibility you are a guardian of souls you are the cobbler you missed you okay huh? oh, 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 don't eat me please don't eat me i'm not i'm not gonna eat you sister means a lot to me. I feel incredibly lucky and blessed to have you not only as my daughter, but as my very best friend. While Debra was growing up, many doubted that the words Debra and wedding <laughs> would never be used simultaneously. If there's one important lesson my parents have taught me to a great life and a happy marriage, it's to always have a drink in your hand. And since Seth is, is one of my best friends, and you just embarrassed Seth, I got his back, and I'm about to embarrass Jill. And I saw Camille laugh, and I knew you were the one. God bless you both. I love you. I would like to pose a toast. Raise your glasses. Cheers. 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 So, 